Rockers and Recovery Media is dedicated to carrying the message of addiction recovery through music, news, events, and festivals taking place within and not limited to the clean and sober community. Rockers and Recovery Radio is based on opinion only and is not meant to treat or diagnose any health or mental health issue of any kind. If you feel you need help for any health-related issues, please contact a physician or mental health professional. The opinions expressed by our guests are not necessarily those of Rockers and Recovery. Hey, hey, good morning. Waking up blessed. I'm John Hollis. Uh, The show is live Monday through Friday here on Waking Up Blessed. 9 a.m. to 9.30. The goal is to uh, start the day with inspiration and hope, using a thought for today, health and wellness interviews, and guest stories of experience, strength, and hope. Uh, This show is part of the Rockers and Recovery Radio Network, and we want to uh, invite you to go to rockersandrecovery.com and check out the information there. And we want to thank uh, Sober Map App. Uh, at the App Store and the Google Play Store. You download the app, and, of course, uh, you can access uh, 12-step meetings and other recovery-related information. Uh, the Waking Up Blessed uh, uh, quote uh, for the day is, everyone thinks forgiveness is a lovely idea until he has uh, something to forgive. And, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, I found about forgiveness is that uh, Lots of people have forgiven me, and it's and it's important for me uh, in my process to forgive others and to understand that you know we all make mistakes and nobody's perfect. We don't, huh, I know I don't walk on water, that's for sure. So I want to thank everybody for their outpouring of support and love for Lori. Um, Lori Welsh Sullivan is the uh, co-founder of Rockers and Recovery. We found out uh, yesterday that uh, she she had been through a biopsy on Friday, and uh, the results uh, came back uh, yesterday. And uh, you know, one of the things that uh, the biopsy showed was uh, that uh, two of the three spots in her left breast was uh, malignant, and uh, <clears throat> one of them uh, is in a lymph node under her left armpit and breast. And um, we, uh, of course, just ask everybody to continue uh, your prayers for what's going on in our family. Um, We're off today. I wanted to do the show this morning, and I wanted to thank everybody for their responses and being a part of our family and the ones that have shown up on our profiles and and made – you know, made uh, some notes and some, you know, some very cool support. And uh, my friends that are in recovery and Lori's friends that are in recovery. You know, I met Lori Sullivan in uh, 1993. And um, I had rolled into South Florida like a like a tornado um, of active addiction. And uh, I went to a treatment um that lasted about uh, 90 days and um you know I ended up meeting Lori after I got out of treatment and I ended up um uh, using I don't know I stayed in South Florida uh, for a particular reason too because they brought the boats of cocaine in here that was my thinking back then it wasn't because of uh of treatment that's for sure and uh spent the next uh, several years um you know, living on the streets and, and getting high and, and, you know, it was all about uh, a really, really bad lifestyle, that's for sure. And uh, we, had, we had met and me and Lori were homeless together. We were the Bonnie and Clyde of South Florida. And in 1999, uh, Lori got clean. And when she got clean, it was, you know, shortly after that, several years later, that, you know, I came into the fellowship, but one of the things that uh, occurred for me during that time period was that I seen how much love that she had for not just herself and her own recovery, but the love of other people and the love that she gives back every day, quietly, you know, right from her chair when she's talking on the phone with many people each day. And I love her dearly, and, um, you know, we get to today uh, be a family, you know, a family in recovery. 
and uh, you know our son Christopher just uh, he just picked up a, a year medallion of that uh, uh, back in September, and um, as a matter of fact, he picked it up uh, in September. While his mom was picking up 18 years in September here in Tallahassee, and uh, what a what a cool experience that was, and was able to uh, give both um, give both their coins. So it was kind of a, a cool thing for the whole family unit. And I just wanted to get on, and I wanted to say that hey, listen, you know, something when, when things like this occur in people's lives, <clears throat> and you're on the outside of it, and you're looking in. You never really understand just what is the fears and the anxieties. And when we got the phone call yesterday and we sat and we cried together and we went through that process and then we went through the next process of, okay, this is what we need to do now. And we started to make the phone call. She started making hers. I started making mine. And we're on our way to a, uh, an appointment this morning to be able to go into the next phase of this, which is uh, doing an, MR, an MRI and talking with the, uh, the head of surgery and uh, for the cancer unit and, you know, figuring out, you know, um, where it is as far as uh, what stage, uh, what type, and uh, also going on to... Uh, on, on to um, that process of what they think we need to do next to be able to get her healthy again and physically healthy again. But I can tell you that she's handled it like a, a, a amazing, uh, and she's engaged in and going out there and, and doing the footwork to just like with her recovery doing the footwork with the cancer in the same way that she dealt with her recovery and deals with her recovery as an adult moving forward, getting the answers and doing what she needs to do. I'm proud of her and uh, I'm proud of Christopher. And most importantly, um, I love you guys. And I wanted to get on this morning. I wasn't going to be able to do, I was even considering not doing a show, but I said, you know something, I think that this is something that people need to hear. There might be one person out there that's struggling right now. And you know something, if you're actively using or you're just coming in, you know, Mad Gladder said, we don't get to pick up. We get to utilize the recovery program today and use what we have learned and the faith in God. And my God, I don't know about if you have one or yet, yet or not, but I would get one. Um, my, my belief is, is that we get to walk through this day with the faith of God, whatever the outcomes is going to be his, not mine, but I have faith that I don't have to pick up a drink or a drug over anything that takes place in my life today. We can do this together and I will be making phone calls through today to my support system. And I'm sure, you know, as I seen all day yesterday, Laura doing the same. Waking up blessed is real simple. I took a breath this morning and I stood up. I came in to the office. I got ready to do this show just like any other day. Fear and anxiety do not have to hold me down. I get to be able to have a process in my life today. And thank you, God, and thank you to all the people that have helped me get to where I'm at today. Because you know something, without God and those people... I would be, you know, at best sitting in a corner, you know, slobbering on myself, having Twinkies thrown at me and out of my mind at best. So that being said, um, I want to, again, thank everybody for their well-wishing and their support and their continued prayers for Lori's situation and our family situation. <clears throat> Mad glad or sad, the message of today's show is real simple. That the support of God, the support of others, and the fellowship that you crave will be built around you, and our book tells us that. And the people that are meant to be in your life and the people that are there and are meant to be supportive are going to just come out of the woodwork in times of problems, in times of issues. 
I love each and every one of you, as Ed Holland, my buddy, would say, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. And I think about those things. I think about guys like Ed and other folks that have made a difference in my life, and, and through those guys I get to, you know, carry their message forward along with our message. And, uh, again, I love each and every one of you. There's not a damn thing you can do about it, so... Uh, we're off to our appointment for Lori, and uh, we will, uh, of course, uh, I'll be playing it by ear on uh, tomorrow's show, and uh, depending on what we have to do next, and if there's anything that we need to do tomorrow. But, but again, I look forward to uh, updating everybody, and thank you so much for the outpouring, and we'll talk with you guys soon. I'm going to play a song that... I think uh, you guys might like, and it's from Miles Kennedy, Love Can Only Heal. And music is my thing, man. It really helps me, and this song, like, really hit me this morning, and I just, you know, wanted to play it for you guys, because music helps me to get centered and through the day, along with my readings and other things that I do. So, you guys have a great day. Keep on rocking recovery out there, and uh, we we uh, look forward to uh, speaking with you again soon. Thanks for tuning in this morning.
Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.